Hey guys and welcome to another Unreal Engine Marketplace sale. This is the August sale where we can save 50% off of over 1800 different assets until Sunday the 28th of August. So that is this Sunday so it's a very very short sale but again lots of amazing different assets with 50% off so it's really a chance for you to buy anything which you've had your eyes on you wanted to get or maybe get something else and just have a look at what else there is to offer on the marketplace page. So to go with that, I'm going to be covering the top 10 assets which I've seen so far, giving my opinion on them, sharing them, showcasing them, and obviously leaving links to them in the description down below as well. Now obviously I said there's over 1800 different assets, so this might not actually be the top 10, it's just the top 10 from what I've seen, these are the ones which I thought looked really really good. So without further ado, we've spoken about it quite a lot, let's get right into it, starting with the replicated vaulting and mantling. So the replicated vaulting and mantling project allows you to easily and quickly add fully replicated and animated toggleable vaulting, mantling and sliding abilities through a blueprint axis components into your game. So setting up vaulting and parkour can be hard enough as it is, let alone replicating it, so this allows you to just very easily implement it in already set up. So as well as it being used for the mannequin, this is also implementable into ALS V4 as well, so you can implement this into an already amazing animation locomotion system. So some of the main features of this are that it allows you to customize the systems even in real time. It's a plug and play system, so simple actor components can be initialized and the rest is in history. It's all in simple blueprints, so the entire system is in blueprints, coded with optimized industry standards, and it's also compatible with C++ though. And as the title mentions, it's obviously fully replicated. There is a procedural system in this as well, so you can use any obstacle size to vault over. The system will automatically detect dimensions and warp the character location around that size. There is sliding with root motion, as well as sliding with interpolation, in case you don't want to or can't use root motion. And as well as all of that, there is a foot IK system as well, so it has a simple foot IK component that is easily removable if you don't want that. Basically what it will do is just adjust the feet location and rotations to slopes just to give it that extra nice look. Which is also in UE5 by default now, so if you don't know what I mean, just load up a third person template in UE5, stand on the slope that's in the start project and you'll see what I mean. Some of the more technical details are that this is for both UE4 and UE5, the animations work in both. It is scaled to the epic skeleton and rigged to the epic skeleton and of course it is animated with six animations. And there are four blueprints and this is obviously network replicated. They do also have their own documentation as well and tutorials if you did want to or need to look at those. So next up we have the realistic customizable roads. So this makes it easy to get amazing looking roads fast and customized however you want. So this features a fully customizable asphalt material. The roads appear practically infinitely non-repeating has 8k 4x4 randomized roads for 21 trillion patterns and 4k 2x2 randomized roads for 24 patterns. Now that might sound like quite a lot and unnecessary, but it basically means it's not going to look repetitive. You can have as many roads as you want and there'll be 21 trillion different patterns to choose from that it will obviously do automatically, so it's not going to look repetitive at all. And although there's 21 trillion patterns to choose from, it is incredibly optimized. You can control everything from cracks to wetness, puddles, wear, colour and much more. There are three types of traffic and crosswalk signals, two types of street lights, four types of curbs, four types of drain curbs and six sidewalk meshes as well. On top of that you've got 288 road meshes, 48 intersection meshes, 48 intersection filler meshes and three types of stop signs, as well as white and yellow road marking decals and three types of road patch decals as well. So as you can see, there's really so much you can use to customize the look of the roads to get them to look exactly how you want, making it different from everybody else's and different in the whole map itself. So let's say maybe each town has its own kind of theme or they all look different. There are 75 unique material instances and 32 unique materials. There's 179 textures ranging from 2K, 4K and 8K. So this one looks absolutely amazing, very, very simple, but very effective and it looks great. Now we've got the Magical Portals slash Explosions VFX. So this is a pack of variant portals and explosion effects with their own projectiles. So this pack includes 6 portal 3 variants, 6 portican projectiles with 3 variants, 2 magical heart effects with 1 variant, 2 magical skull effects with 1 variant, and 4 magical explosions with 2 variants with those ones being heart and skull. 
So all of these effects are built with the Niagara system and they are all GPU computed. All the particles used in systems have real time adjustable colours and emissive lighting options in their material instances. So you can really customise it to get it to look different. You can just drag and drop them into your project and then adjust them to make them unique for your own game or your own project, whatever it is that you're making. So there are 10 unique effects and 2 meshes, 27 materials and 83 material instances and 5 textures. Once again, I think these ones look absolutely great. Again, the customization available with these make them even better because you can really just change them how you want. You've got the base effect there and you can customize how it looks. Next, we've got 65 zombie idle animations. So it's worth mentioning this doesn't include the zombie model. However, it does obviously have the animations that you can very easily retarget to a model if you wanted to. So this includes obviously 65 seamless zombie idle animations based on six different poses. Now obviously as it says these are only idle animations, they're not walking, attacking, running, anything like that, it's just idle. And as I said it's based on six different poses, so you also have those unique base poses as well to use if you wanted. So this animation pack will help you to create zombie crowds for in-game or cinematics, so the reason why they're idle is because a lot of movies or games, whatever, you have a big crowd of zombies just standing there, not actually moving. So that's what this is aimed for. All the animation assets are created with a seamless loop and they are all compatible with both UE4 and UE5 mannequin skeletons. So it doesn't matter which engine you're using, it works in both. These are rigged to the epic skeleton and they also have IK bones included as well. All 65 animation types are in place, no room motion, as obviously they're not moving it's not needed. Next up we've got another great one and that is Alien Planet Fantasy Environment Jungle Plants. So this includes interactive plants and glowing footsteps. There's nine different plant species with some of them having different variations as well. There's also some footstep sound effects for dirt, grass, mud, water shallow and water deep. There's 29 different footstep sounds in total with those being the themes that I just said. There's ambient sound effects too. So when you walk into some of the different plants, they will make a sound effect for that, as well as just having ambient sounds in the background too. For example, grassy wind. So this features a physics plant spawner blueprint, which replaces foliage with physics assets when the player is nearby. So basically when you're far, it's gonna be a normal foliage. And when you go to it, it will be a physics asset. So if the player walks into it, they can interact with it. And that just makes it nice and efficient. It has a wind controller, which affects all plant materials. It has grass capture for glowing footstep effects four interactive plant blueprints and mannequin demonstration player blueprint for you to be able to see what it's going to look like. Some of the sound effects that they have are light rain, windy grass, wet footsteps, dirt footsteps, grass footsteps, shallow water and deep water footsteps, animal call sounds and a balloon plant interactivity sounds as well which is one of the different species of plants that they have in this project. Three different particles they have are glow moat, water steam and rain and some of the sky features are lots of different clouds, flickering stars, planet rings, and a realistic planet material. There are 57 unique meshes, all with automatically generated collision. And these also have LODs to again make them nice and efficient. With 82 materials and 156 textures, ranging all the way from 128 to 8k. So there's lots on here and I've kind of skimmed through it but still gone into great detail because there's just that much on here so I definitely recommend checking out the marketplace page for this one for more detailed information on it. But that one looks absolutely fantastic. And next up we've got the Survivor Characters Pack. So this is a game ready Survivor Characters Pack which is low poly but high quality. So these are rigged and they are rigged to the epic skeleton with IK bones included. However they are not animated it is just the characters. Again, because it's rigged to the epic skeleton, you can very easily retarget to this skeleton. And there are four different characters in this pack. There's 19 materials and 66 textures, ranging from 1k, 2k, and 4k. There's not much else to say on this one, but you get the idea. You can see it on screen now, what these different characters look like. There's four of them, rigged to the epic skeleton, but not animated. Now we have the map painting Skybox Pack 8, Doom Skies. So this is the skybox pack which includes dark stormy doom clouds. So this features six sky images, all of which are 4k and it has a blueprint based flow map animation system and an 8k landscape. So all of the skies are 4k, there's no higher, no lower. So that's something to keep in mind if you think your system might not be able to run 4k. There's no collision and no LEDs as obviously they're not needed. And there is one static mesh for the sky sphere. 
There's 5 base materials and 15 material instances and 23 textures. So once again, there's not much that really needs to be said here. It's all just a visual thing that you can see. And as it's skybox, again, there's not much detail that needs to go into creating it to make it run efficiently or anything. So there isn't a lot to say about it, but you can really see all the different skies which we have within this pack. And I think they will look absolutely amazing. Next up, we've got the easy RPG dialogue system. And I think I may have featured this one in a previous video as well, but we've got it again here today. So this is an easy to use dialogue builder with letter by letter text effect, sequencer integration, multiple choices and much more, and its main inspiration is JRPGs. Obviously it doesn't have to be just used by JRPGs, but that was the main inspiration behind it. So this features NPC conversations with a letter by letter scrolling text effect, character name box and character portraits, so you can really see who you're talking to. There's a voiceover or speech sound effect support, so if you wanted to actually have it talking, you can have that. There are multiple dialogue choices with different responses. There's a sequencer integration, so if you wanted to be kind of a cinematic camera goes up to the character and the NPC, you can do that very easily. It's got automatic adjustment of dialogue box location if no portrait is found. There's readable signs which can be made into any readable actor. There is a dark mode for this, and it is very easy to use and customize. So there's only six blueprints. The input is both gamepad and keyboard and mouse, and it is network replicated. So all of this system contains all the features you need to tell stories in your games and other projects. And you can really see that showcased on screen now, just going around talking to these different NPCs, you get the feel of how it's going to look and work. Next up, we've got grid based building. And now this looks like it's kind of similar to how the Sims games work. It's a top down where you're building a grid like that. They haven't shown it used in any other way. So I imagine this is the only way to use it. So this system will show you how to build with tile sets on a grid in a 3D space. You can easily build walls along edges or snap the vertices or simply paste tiles in a grid. This system does all of it. So this looks like quite a basic system. However, I imagine you'd be able to look at this and really understand what it's doing and maybe expand upon it into your own games and projects if that's what you wanted. This looks like a great foundation. So this has auto wall generation, multiple build tools, smart wall integration, procedural grid generation, grid storage and data system, an intuitive free camera camera system, and the author will be continuing to update this project in the future. There's 21 different blueprints, and the input is mouse and keyboard. However, this is not network replicated. So once again, as I was saying, looks like quite a basic system. Not the code behind it is basic, but what it actually does is fairly basic for the use case of it at the moment. But again, they said they're gonna continue building upon it, but you can also do that as well. You can have a look and build upon it for your own specific use case if that's what you wanted. But again, it looks like an amazing system that we have here. And finally, last but not least, we have the riding system. So this is a simple riding system for multiplayer and single player and is all written in blueprints. So if you remember a couple months back, we got a riding system for free with the monthly assets. However, it wasn't amazing. This one looks like it's much, much better. So this includes a multiplayer version, like I said, with both in-place and root motion animations. The riding component is very, very easy to use. You can speed up and slow down the movement speed of the horse. The movement style and animations change depending on the current speed you're going at. There are two different versions, one with no mount animations and one with mount animations. You can easily add in footsteps if you wanted. There is already swimming implemented into this for the horse. There's a simple stamina system and the horse will also accelerate and decelerate according to the slope it's currently on. So this all looks like a very comprehensive and amazing system. There's 28 blueprints with the input being keyboard and mouse. And like I say, it is network replicated. So you can use this in an online game as well if you wanted, which I think is absolutely amazing. So once again, we've got a riding system with speed and stamina and mounting and dismounting animations. And the horse can also swim as well. And obviously the whole thing is network replicated as I've already said. So I think this one looks amazing. So I think that'll be it for this video covering the August sale of 2022. Once again, you can save 50% off on over 1800 assets until Sunday, the 28th of August, 2022. And again, that is this Sunday. So I think my favorite one from this collection is maybe the alien plant fantasy environment jungle plants, because I just think it looks absolutely fantastic and looks like a beautiful asset pack.
So let me know in the comments down below which one your favorite one is and any other ones which you've seen on the Marketplace page which deserve a showcase and you think look absolutely amazing. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful of me just covering these different assets and showcasing them. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.